Hi and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking Chinese fried rice with shrimps. So let's start cooking. First we're going to prepare the prawns. This one teaspoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda or baking soda or soda powder. Some water over here, enough water to cover the prawns. We're just going to mix this into the water. Now the purpose of this is to make the prawns crunchy. So mix this up well, make sure you mix it up really well. Next I'm going to add in the prawns. I've taken out the veins as you can see and also the shells. This is approximately about 160 grams after taking off the shell. Put them in. Now important thing is that the water must be cold so we are adding ice. So we're going to leave this in the fridge for half an hour to make sure it's really cold before we start to fry our fried rice. Now we're going to put the dish together and we're going to fry the prawns first. Heat up a pan, put in oil. It's okay if you put a little bit more oil, it's fine, no problem. Swirl the oil around. At medium heat, we will fry the prawns. I've rinsed the prawns and I'm going to put them into the frying pan now. Important thing is don't overcook them. About a minute or two on each side will be fine. Now as you can see, it's turning red already, so we turn it to the other side. If you want to use smaller prawns, no problem. If you want to cut this into half, it's really your own personal preference. I'm frying the prawns first because I want to cook them approximately around 80 to, to 90 percent done. And I'm just going to toss them in the rice later when the rice is almost done. So as you can see, it's beautifully done. It's time to take the prawns out. The same work, add in some more oil. Do not worry about a little bit too much oil because the egg will actually absorb the oil. And fried rice is actually good with a little bit more oil. Okay. I've cracked six eggs. I'm just going to put them in, pour them in. Break the yolk, stir them around. You need to cook the egg a little bit until about 80% done. Not too done because we want to add in the rice and we want to cook the eggs around the rice. Okay, I'm putting in four cups of cooked rice. Mix them up well. Now one of the best the fried rice that I ever had is actually in Ping Tai Fong and this is inspired by them. Make sure you really separate out the rice to let it clump together. Give it a good mix and look at how beautiful the colors are. Keep stirring them around. Make sure that they are coated in this beautiful egg that we are frying inside here. When you fry, be careful not to break up the rice too much. So just flip it. Don't chop it. When you see that the rice has actually absorbed most of the egg, we are putting the seasoning now. One and a half teaspoon of chicken powder. And one teaspoon of salt. Same thing, mix it around. Make sure you mix them up well. It smells so good right now. Now we need to fry this a little bit dry. So I'm just going to just continuously flip it around in this pan. Now if you can use high heat at home, by all means do so also, but please make sure you don't burn the dish. But to the standard, using the kind of a house kind of stove, you can use it at medium heat, it will be easier to fry. It might take a little bit longer, but it's easy to fry. Now it's best if you could use overnight rice. Why is that so? Because then the rice will be drier. Okay, fried rice, we cannot have the rice to be too wet, otherwise after frying, it will be too kind of a mushy. The rice that Ting Tai Fong should be using is actually the short grain rice, or Zhen Zhu Mi as they call it in Chinese. Um, I don't have that, so I'm using just the Thai rice, which is the Thai jasmine rice, which is as good. This portion is good for 4 or 5 percent. Now I'm going to add in soy sauce to enhance the flavor. One tablespoon of soy sauce.
there's a lot of variation of our fried rice you can add in any ingredients you want like salted fish or luncheon meat or silver fish so it really depends on how you like and what you have at a particular moment now how do you know when this is ready we need the rice to be a little bit dry and we need to see the rice jumping around so we still need to fry it a little bit longer if you don't want your rice to be too dry you can actually add in the rest of ingredients now but I like it slightly drier so it'll be tastier now I'm going to add in spring onions as well as pepper two stalks of spring onion sliced very finely like this put everything in pepper to taste mix them up well now we need to cook the spring onion later because we want to release the flavor once you mix them up well it's time to put in the prawns in the prawns we just need to stir this around for approximately 10 to 15 seconds look at how beautiful the colors are okay it's time to serve this beautiful dish now we're done with the cooking let's try our fried rice wow very fragrant mm. very flavorful it's not too dry it's just nice the rice is fluffy and in chinese we call it li li fen ming with this fragrant of the eggs i hope you like our video do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel thank you for watching